Hello guys, this is Ashraf. Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you on how to toggle from solid view to wireframe view. So, <coughs> by default, you will be given this view. This is what we call solid view, whereby you can see the face or surface of your mesh. Okay. So how to see your wireframe in Blender to view wireframe view? Okay, you just have to go here. Okay, viewport shading. Okay, viewport shading here and there. You click this icon. This is showing the wireframe mode. Now we are in shading mode. This one. So this is the wireframe mode. Once you click this wireframe mode, what you can see in your object is the wireframe okay all right see this is wireframe mode okay the to get back to go back to shape solid mode is here or you can use the shortcut key you press Z okay and you can choose here this will be a pie menu and choose here wireframe okay Z wireframe Z Z Z solid Z wireframe all right so this wireframe can be turned on in both edit mode and object mode this is object mode this is edit mode all right so this will helps you to make uh, more accurate uh, modeling okay you can choose to model and you can see the hidden vertex or edge that you can view you can view from solid view all right Okay, so let's say we, we try to model something here. Okay, let's say we try to model here. So, where should we implement the wireframe? Okay, let's say I'm going to model uh, three. Extrude size, extrude sizing, rotate on x axis, and extrude it here and then. So let's say this is uh, a tree trunk, okay? Tree trunk, okay? So, uh, okay. All right, and okay. From here, I want to add some cut I'm using knife. Press K. It's over here. Okay, knife, and I'm going to select this face here, and I'm going to extrude this face. Press E, and this is the branch. Scale down and move there, and again. I Sorry, before that, I'm going to rotate this on x axis Rx. Okay, I'm going to move it there. So now I have one branch. Okay, and maybe somewhere here also I want to add a face here by using knife tool. Set the face and extrude out E and rotate on x axis that maybe yep to scale it down e and rotate a bit so it should e and there all right cool so it's like a tree branch don't branch is a trunk so all 
right? Z. Okay. So now, uh, you go to quad view, control alternate Q. All right. So from this view, right? Auto view. Okay. Let's say you want to make this branch longer. Okay. This side, this branch, you want to make it longer. Okay. Uh, you can do like this go to vertex modes okay. okay and then you can press b to select this one but if you select like this it will only select the front vertex you can view here see not all vertex not all vertices sorry vertices are selected so that's why when you have to turn on the wireframe mode press z or z and you go to wireframe and now when you press b you select this you select actually when you select this you can see you select the, the front and also you will select also at the back okay compare again b select here maybe one two three and this this vertex was not selected because it was not view cannot be seen here so that's why when you go to Z, Z, press B, press this one. So now it's being selected. Okay. So now you what you can do? It. Maybe you can do it like that, or you can press B to select this joint, and then maybe you can adjust a bit. Okay. You also can do B, and then you grab on like that. And you can do some rotations okay cool and then uh, let's say we want to add the the trees uh, leaf okay so again I'm going to go for normal view so the perspective view now let's say we go to select add mesh okay in the same uh, cube okay I'm going to select add mesh shift A. This one I'm going to use icosphere. I'm using the basic one, icosphere, and then G Z. I want to make it there. S, and then I want to rotate there. Okay. All right. Okay, now I'm facing a problem. Sorry. Okay, so from right view, okay, my branch is not as what I want it to be there. So it's A, it's Z, wireframe, and select this again, B sorry B now going to down and so that this G move this there okay now I want to duplicate this icosphere I'll press L to select that icosphere and I'm going to duplicate this shift D duplicate move it around to make it smaller all right as there. there so now you can see okay now it's there okay duplicate the same shape shift D sorry shift D G Y in this case oh no sorry G Y R X make it small. All right, and then you go back to perspective view. Then Z solid. Okay, now I have this 
cute tree. So now, let's uh, plane a ground to this plane. Okay, in this, I want to make sure the the plane is touch. Okay, so now it's not touch the tree. I can see that from here. See, it's floating. So by using wireframe mode, okay, and you go to uh, control or Q and you can see from front or to here okay press one okay you can see now there is a gap there so now you can move this and you must zoom in and make sure that yep so now you have the ground go back to solid yeah now you have uh, three. Okay. In this case, in the uh, uh, object mode, you also can view the wireframe. This one, there is you can view the wireframe. Okay. By going here. Okay. You click on this side. Okay. Overlays. Okay just have this one is overlay menu and this one have the uh, arrow here open and you go geometry turn on wireframe so now you can see the wireframe from wireframe with wireframe in solid view okay if you go to wireframe wireframe you just see the wireframe but you cannot see the face the surface but and you turn on this geometry wireframe then you can see okay you can play with the parameters when it to be thick uh, this one is small wireframe i guess yeah or just leave it at okay so again what is face orientations okay just keep it that way all right cool okay so that's it i've covered on how to toggle from uh, solid view to wireframe view and i do some i do a uh, simple modeling i, I model uh, a tree here okay and i also covered on how to turn on wireframe in solid view or in solid mode, uh, solid view.